Well, it's time to head to the harbor and our cruise ship. Got the bags? Let's go cruising. Here is the cruise terminal. This is check-in. I had a Australian visas right now and I had to dig into the suitcase to go find them. Go figure, but now we're going to board. And out here is our gorgeous Viking Mars. The airport is right by here. Safety briefing is the first thing. Well, we cannot get into our cabin until 1 o'clock, and it's only 12, so we're up here in World Cafe going to toast the cruise and maybe get Steve something to eat when he's hungry. As you can tell, the port looks a lot nicer, more like a cruise port, definitely a cruise port, than Cologne, Panama did, that junky cruise port. That's the entertainment for this evening. They've got a Balinese performance at 9 p.m. Steve and I will be sound asleep by then. They do have lots of lecturers and different things going on all day and all evening, but we do not partake. Here is our room 4021. It is called a penthouse veranda, and it's bigger than the rooms that we usually get because this particular Viking cruise is the, the end result of at least two or three different Viking cruises because of COVID. And each time they canceled a cruise, they gave us additional monies. So by the time we were ready to take this cruise, we had to pick a stateroom that correlated to the money that we had. So instead of like a $5,000 stateroom, this is a $9,000 stateroom per person. Not that I cared, but it is bigger than the other staterooms. Bigger balcony, too. However, each Viking ship is exactly the same. There is no difference between them. Viking has really nice bathrooms. Nice roomy showers. They give you plenty of amenities. Oh man. <laughs> I don't believe we have to do one of those stupid embarkation saliva sample tests. Oh, like we had to do last February. Oh man. I hate these things. I thought we were done with all this. It is time for the first dinner menu on board Viking and tonight is a green papaya and corn soup with seafood, a baby shrimp cocktail, beef tatar, white bean soup, a farmer pecorino market salad, a croton de chavignol, a French lar a French Loire Valley goat cheese souffle with creamy sauce. Steve's all-time favorite, tiger prawns. I think he probably ate them for 14 straight nights on the last cruise. Caesar salad. Mains, a minced duck saute with peanut sauce. I love peanut sauce. Mediterranean sea bass. Linguine with clams. Shrimp sauteed in olive oil. Gamba saute Provençal, Szechuan style beef tenderloin, roast vegetables and corn risotto, always a uh, steak, always, always salmon, always the roasted chicken is on the menu. The desserts do not excite me. Balané, I like black rice pudding though. Well, maybe I'll try that. There's a mango tango. Chocolate creme brulee. I don't like the cheesecakes, regular creme brulee, and cheese and ice cream. 
shout out. Hi, Leonard. I think I keep forgetting to give you a shout out. So hi, Leonard again. This is our mini bar. They refresh it every single day. It's all included. Just help yourself. Those are my sticky buns to nash on later on this afternoon. Nice and gooey. Yay, good news. Viking just changed their rule about collecting the little saliva tubes every day. We don't have to do it anymore. Viking changes the linens every single day. There's no such thing here as a card that you put on your bed to say change or not change. Immaculate room. They take such good care of us. They wash the windows, the deck, everything, every single day. We've taken so many Viking cruises, which is a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. It was difficult to find a cruise to use up the credits. So that is why we are taking this particular cruise. It wouldn't have been my druthers only because we have been to almost every single port that Viking Mars is going to. So I really don't know when that we're going to join every excursion. For instance, tomorrow is Lombok and we spent four days on Lombok sort of seeing it all and doing whatever we could at that time. They changed Komodo Island already to Rinka. Who knows what else they're going to do on this cruise, where else we're not going to get to, or what they're going to substitute. That's it for right now. It's almost time for our first food fest to begin.